the challenge was set. Could APSI have a thousand attendees in its first ever virtual conference? There would be one winner and one person wearing the Bucky suit. I'm so lonely. Wait, Tom! I couldn't leave you! Oh, and it's Bucky too! Woo! <laughs> Welcome to our final chat. We are so happy to be here with you. I am so happy to be in the craziness with somebody who's truly, genuinely crazy. I am crazy. just loving being <laughs> just like you, Tom, in this outfit. Well, oh, let's my get goodness. comfortable. Very comfortable. We are glad to have so many of you joining us. Look, we, I kind of look like little Bucky. Um, we are glad to have you guys still with us. Take a look at our background. Um, this is amazing. GNT uh, has a picture of just about everybody who is part of our big get together. And um, I did miss one thing. We wanted to make sure we thank you for being part of this and know how much we appreciate um, all that you've done to make this a priority. I'm guessing at this point, the numbers have gone to zero, but we'll see. <laughs> um, hey, you know what? We've got our last set of slides. All right. Can't wait to see um, our signs of hope. Um, yes. Signs of hope. So uh, if you want to take play along again, it'll be a little uh, chat poll. And we're going to try to read these out. Ooh, that's beautiful. Mm. God's love shining down, A, B, or C. First of all, I wish I could take a picture like that. Yes. I mean, that is, those are all fabulous. So which one are you going to pick, Tom? Um, I'm going to go with A because I live in Chicago and that looks so warm and inviting. And I'm going to go with C. So what is it? So people are still voting. Oh, it's B. It's B. <laughs> very good. Very good. Okay. Next up. Light in the darkness. Those are interesting. Uh, there are some art. Artistic people in this. Uh, I, I could buy all three of those. I want to go with. I just want to go with A because I don't know quite what that is. I think it's rocks. I want to buy all three of those pictures. Mm -hmm. I feel like they are professional. How about C? Which which is it? A. Hey, you were right. You were right. Good job. What else do we got? Ooh. Oh, this is a little trickier. Our pal college, Meredith is going to have to type some of these up. because College students at the University of Arkansas, full of creative ideas for staying connected. Uh, <laughs> well, they're all too close. We have been more or less in quarantine in a bubble. Right. Um, and I assume they have two. I'm going to go with A. I'm going to go with C. B. Oh. And really, A was, they look too young, now that I think about it. What else do we got? Oh, that's so pretty. Snow comes and goes, but God is always here. A, B, or C. Again, you'd think it's B, but that picture, both of those other pictures of snow, they do remind me of home. I'm going to go with C. I'm going to go with A. Uh -huh. Ah. Hey. Kind of like the costume. You have won it all. <laughs> youth, youth. Go ahead. Youth engaged in camp ministry. Well, wow. definitely it's C. There's oh. no way. And everybody else agrees. It's got to be C. I'm going to go with B. Okay. What is it? All right. You got it. Did you do that just to be nice? I did. <laughs> um, oh, look at this signs of hope wow a candidate for ministry now ready to receive a call preaching his sermon before the presbytery signs of hope i think it's obvious for me but i gotta tell you i if one is the winner i'd be very <laughs> very impressed and two b is that's spectacular it is. whoever did that but i think it's c and the answer is C. Two more. Let's let's see what we got. 
Beautiful flowers growing in November in a neighbor's yard called a Confederate rose. Which is the Confederate rose? Hmm. You know, I love gardening. So you got it? So Which we have one? tulips. I think that's a rose of Sharon. So I got to go with A because I, I don't know what that is. I'm going to have to go with you on A there also. The answer is A. Hey, hey. I'm guessing that's a Southern thing. <laughs> Virtual Christmas pageant. An Advent deliveries, delivers a big success. Advent deliveries, a big success. I, I love Ooh, them all. I want them to hard. all come to my church. Yes, that's great. I'm going with C because you cannot get enough cows in the pageant. <sighs> I'm going to go with A. Answer is C. <gasps> got it. I got one. <laughs> you got it. One more picture. Let's see what we got. That was actually the last one. Oh, that was it. Oh, that was we got through them all one. today. I'm you so did. impressed. Thank awesome. you all for participating. Such fun to see um, all the th creative ways you have exhibited um, anything but ordinary, making things new, and signs of hope. We definitely have all of those. Uh, it is amazing to think of what educators do with their minds to it. Um, I know these are tough times, and yet, I keep seeing on Facebook um, and all over the place, really, amazing creative suggestions and ideas. So we are grateful for that. Um, we want to kind of uh, do what we've been doing the last few nights, which is to bring our, our preacher back in for a few minutes. Um, and if Amy's with us as well, we'd love to see her. There's Keaton. Hello. You are on mute, Keaton. Can you hear me now? Hello? Hello? There you go. There you go. Welcome back. Uh, tell me, how exhausted were you after you filmed that entire uh, sermon all over the church? <laughs> this might be the hardest I've ever worked for a sermon. <laughs> <laughs> um, because what you don't know is that, uh, so my, my dear friend and colleague in ministry, uh, I want to give a shout out to the Reverend Jonathan Britt, who is uh, a, a pastor in the presbytery where I serve. Uh, he helped and we went around the church and we did every one of those scenes you saw, we took three to six takes in each place. Wow. And, um, and so it was, yeah, it was definitely, definitely a labor of love to um, make sure that we had good material to, to work with. That kind of kind of sounds like us this entire week. Everything that we did, we did three, four, five times. Um, so yeah, we feel your pain. <laughs> we do. We do. Y'all well, look fabulous doing it. I might say. <laughs> My guess is anybody who sits beside Anne will always look fabulous. Especially like this, right? <laughs> I mean, just. <laughs> um, we we want to throw it open to questions from um, the crew that's here with us. And again, we can't see you, uh, but we've changed formats uh, so that way you can just speak up or raise your hands. Some of you are putting questions in the chat, and we will um, try to ask some of those as well. We want to be in this uh, dialogue for the next uh, 10 or 12 minutes, and then we've got more special guests. Um, but let's start with the, the question on the board. Uh, might there be some doors which we should intentionally close to allow other more faithful doors to open? Yes. <laughs> um, there's a really beautiful concept, I think, in, um, in the Hebrew Bible that um, the earth ought to lie fallow. Um, every seven years and and give all things sabbath so so everything receives sabbath and um and i think that the season we were brought into with a pandemic is not one of our choosing by any means but it has forced us into practicing a year of lying fallow of of letting some things go so that we can see more clearly what it is we need to take back up and what really was not um, the most faithful expression of our of our ministries anymore, and that looks different from faith community to faith community. Um, and so it's it's uh, it's hard to say kind of one blanket thing we should never ever do again. But I think that this is a season of curating 
and for the church to gracefully let some things go. Wonderful. Wonderful. That's beautiful. Uh, I know a Amy is with us too, right? Amy, are you there? Amy Kim? Yeah. I'm Yay! Very... Welcome Much back. Much less adorable than you two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but your colors behind you match match well with what we have on. So, yes, yeah. yeah. that's great. Yes. And thank you for being with us as well. Um, can I want you to hit on that question too? Um, are there doors that we have to be careful and perhaps close? in order to allow more faithful doors to open in our churches and in the world we live in. Uh, how would you respond to that? Yes, I mean, I echo all of the things that Keaton said. I think we forget that uh, the only reason we've gotten as far as we've gotten in life and in the world is because some things needed to die and some things needed, they had their time. I think what sometimes we forget is that things that die don't lose value. They just lost the purpose for what was happening now. Like, even when you think of people, right? Like people don't die and then all of a sudden you're like, I didn't value them. They meant nothing to me. I just am gonna go make new friends, so I don't need them. Th that's not how we look at things in this way. Sometimes things die because they've lived their life and we can celebrate that and then we can move forward to the next thing. I think sometimes we worry that having something die means that we didn't like it or we didn't appreciate it or it had no value. So I think it's just really important for us to think about that. I also think that there's plenty of things that, that have had a hold on us white supremacy, all sorts of systematic racism, all sorts of ways that we have continued to operate and pretended like it's not happening. And now we're at the spot where you can't unsee the things that have happened. So we need to shut some of those doors so that we can let new life in. And so I think that there are, we're really at a precipice of all of these opportunities to move forward. And it doesn't mean that we didn't value what happened before. Wow. wow, that that is absolutely beautiful. Uh, both of you guys are so good on the fly with with your thoughts. Um, I'm wondering if there are additional questions uh, from the gallery, the enormous gallery that is with us. I know many of you came back uh, probably just to see this. <laughs> <laughs> um, but if you came back for a little more depth, uh, we want to do that as well. What other questions do you guys have for us that we'd want to share with or uh, ask these two people? Or if you have any comments. I mean, this is our, our last time together. We also um, in, invite you to just um, share with us what's been meaningful you, for you, um, some real pluses, um, what you're going to take away from here. It's really just an open time, time to chat with us and, and let us know. Um, how it's been for you for these last three days. So if you have a question or you're willing to share a comment, ra wave your hand so we know to call on. These are educators. I know you can, I see a hand waving. Please Love unmute it. yourself and, and go. Okay. Um, I just want to thank you all. Um, I wasn't quite sure going into this what a virtual conference for APSI because I dearly, I've been going to APSI for, gosh, I hate to even say it's been 20 years, but um, I just didn't think anything could replace that actual experience um, and this virtual experience that you all have done has been amazing and just so um, something that I needed mm -hmm. not to get something I needed as an educator to hear. Um, so I just want to thank you all so very much. The preaching, the workshops, everything has been um, just what I needed, and what I think of, what I think of 999 other educators that are out there needed as well. So, thank, thank you for sharing that, and I miss seeing you because I think for 20 years we have seen each other. <laughs> so yes, <laughs> I sure. There's and other times too, but yes. Share share with us your name. Um, I'm Donna Foster. I'm from Greenville, South Carolina, Fourth Presbyterian Church. Yeah. Thanks, Donna. Thank you. I just want you to know that I can already see the face of many of the people who have planned this. So those uh, words of kindness and gratitude are heard by the very people who who need to hear it. So thank you. Um, Others. My my name is Andrea Pascal. 
and I'm in Columbia, South Carolina, and um, I'm in my kitchen because I'm putting pizza on for my husband and I, sorry. Um, <laughs> but um, I echo what Donna said, and I, um, as the person who tries to connect educators and pastors in our presbytery, have appreciated the ability to have others experience this who don't always have the funds to actually go. I have received mm. some texts from people who've said, wow, this has been amazing. I wonder what it's really like in person. And I was like, oh, you just don't have any idea. <laughs> so it, I echo everything that Donna said. It has been absolutely a fabulous, fabulous event. Thank you. Thank you. You enjoy your pizza. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I will get out of this costume into pizza right away. Um, I, I, we do appreciate those words of encouragement because we just never have done anything like this. And so um, taking the step across the threshold, see, now I'm going to cry again. <laughs> taking the step across the threshold is hard work. And I can't thank the, the team enough. I do want to um, mention several of you are now asking, will future conferences be a hybrid like this? And the answer is uh, we most certainly think they will be. Uh, it's hard to imagine we wouldn't, um, but there are a lot of tricks in that, right? It's not quite as simple as saying, we're going to just switch. Many of us also really feel the need to, to connect, to be right. with each other, to share in a meal. And so I think some form of hybrid is coming. And my guests in just a few minutes are probably going to scream, we're going to do everything we can to make uh, next year be both uh, virtual and a hybrid. Hey, Judy, um, I, I see you uh, live. Hey, how are you? This has been wonderful. I can't thank all of you enough. I have just been sad that, thinking that we wouldn't be together this year. And this has been as much like an APSI as anybody could possibly imagine and better. The technology has made it just so fantastic. And the G and TV people, how I love those folks. So I hope they can hear me. Thank you all. It's been great. Thanks, Judy. Means a lot. So kind. What else? Any other thoughts? Um, yeah, Priscilla here. Um, I, I have been really impressed with how, even though it has been remote, there has been a sense of intimacy as we've done all these things. Um, even though we've been all sitting in different rooms, there still felt like um, we were sitting in the same room um, doing APSI annual event together. Um, and, and I was really surprised by that. I didn't expect to feel that intimate closeness with a thousand other educators literally around the world. And yet um, th the possibility was there and, and and you all made it happen. Um, so that's been really, um, that's been a, a surprise for me and, and a very, um, and I'm grateful for that surprise. Thank I wanna piggyback on what Priscilla said. I'm Vicki and um, you know, I go to APSI to, as many of you do, to see my friends and to connect with my people, my peeps. And so I sit with my peeps at the same table and I sit in the same areas, but being on Zoom, I've been able to see so many new faces and I've met people and, and met people from my presbytery that I didn't even know were attending this event. And so it's just been really surprising how much more we could even connect than we ever dreamed. So um, it's just been a really fun surprise to have that experience um, on top of all the great content. So thanks. Thank thanks. you, Vicki. Anybody else have a comment or yeah, I can. This is Linda Babcock from no, I just want to say, I don't. Oh, uh, Linda Babcock. Hey there, hey. friends. Yeah, I wouldn't, I would have been stuck in the Northeast, not able to get out. Um, that's, I, I cannot think of enough adjectives or enough stars or enough numbers. Um, the, the caliber of preaching, uh, the textile, the technology, this, those, that step unit, um, it really shows that we have a lot of gifts that we just need to continue to tap. And this, uh, like, 
showing host type thing that, that you and Tom have done all week has really been, that was the invitation in. You have been really amazing doorkeepers, um, door <laughs> openers. Uh, I am grateful. And uh, Amy, I dance cried. Um, I've, I've been stuck in a land of a transition time that has just not been helpful <laughs> or healthy. Uh, COVID has, was a gift in comparison to this time. So that dance party um, unleashed this, um, this crying and it was an ugly cry like if I'd been alone because I was with my friends and I felt and saw all your faces in my office with so loud the dog barking and my husband going, what is she doing now? Um, for that, for that alone, this was it. And you know what, people? It was enough and even more. So mwah, to all of you, every last one. Thank you, Buffalo Go. Uh, it is great to hear. Who else has some thoughts? So I this see is Julie please. Cavillo. Judy. Hello. Hello. Tom. Julie yes. Cavillo. Hi, hey, Julie. so I just want to tell you, everybody is singing your praises and, and I will later, I've sent you a Facebook message, but I'm really kind of mad at you because I had this idea that I could listen and clean my office at the same time for three days. And it was so interactive that my office looks worse than it did before because I only got one <laughs> shelf unloaded and it's a disaster. <laughs> I really didn't expect it to be this interactive. This is phenomenal. You did a great job, but my, you all can come clean my office now. Okay. <laughs> In I, I just, your Bucky suits. <laughs> I, uh, you know, we love you and all the work you've done with APSI. I will tell you that the Holy Spirit has done something incredible uh, to help all of us. I just wish the Holy Spirit would help clean my office because <laughs> it is a mess. It is a mess. Okay. Uh, what else? Who else? Can I jump in on that on that sure. comment. Okay, I totally agree that um, there's something about doing this virtual thing that makes you focus. You focus on the people in the room. You focus on the plenary. You focus on the worship on every element. And I think I think that is such something to keep. And we discovered this in doing a hybrid. <laughs> because we had to, uh, confirmation, like was mentioned earlier, of starting out uh, in person and then boom, what do we do now? And then what we, what we developed for the rest of the year was more exciting. And now we want to do confirmation hybrid. In other words, we wanna blend the elements of uh, both. So I just thank mm -hmm. you for helping us recognize this by doing APSI, which is one of my favorite things in the world, so. <laughs> Amen. Amen. So uh, I'd, like to share, I'd like to share. I'm Arlene Waldorf from Colorado. My first APSI was in 1986 in Toronto in a snowstorm. <laughs> Maybe some of you remember, but I was so struck, you know, being a my age and the longevity that I've had with APSI and working on the annual events committee for three years, the young, wonderful preachers that we had on this event, I just was so moved and I thank you all. It was put together with such expertise and such grace. So I, that's all I can say is thank you, thank you. I am, we're honored to hear that. Thank you. Um, what we are certain of is this is one of a kind. <laughs> we don't think next year will look like this at all because we know that we are going to be in person, some of us, and I know that there are four amazing individuals who have done more work, and I mean this, than I think any group has ever had to do, and here's why. Most groups have to do it in two and a half years. This group is stuck three and a half years, changing left and right, shifting as they go. And after this, I am certain their work has doubled because they are so excited about what this means for the future. These four individuals, I don't know if you know how Chicago works, but this is, and this is absolutely true. Everybody in Chicago will know this. Oprah, 
Michael, Candace, Kirsty, Jenny, Katie. They're all one names. That's all you need to know. In Chicago, wherever you go, they're known by that <laughs> name. They don't need a last name. And I need to make sure I get a chance because um, I'm the thing I'm most upset about this conference is that I was going to be the uh, moderator of this team for this amazing group. I'm so honored that my friend Meredith will step in and be it, and I still get to be there, but they are just powerhouse women who are going to rock it next year. So I need to bring in, um, let's, I, I'd bring all four of them in, or let's bring in two at a time, Candace and Kirsty. If you speak up, they're going to try to highlight you, and however we want to do this, because I've got questions for you all. We have questions. Okay. Hello. <laughs> Hello. We're not here somewhere. I don't hey, see you, Candace. I'm here. Hey, Absie. Hi, Josh. Can we get them both on the screen, or is it one at a time with us? So, Candace, if you want to introduce yourself okay. and tell us what you're doing. Sure. <laughs> My name is Candace Hill, and I live near Pittsburgh, PA, and I'm the co-chair of the Now 2022 event. <laughs> <laughs> and and this is Candace. Kirsty, introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Kirsty Dupree, and I'm the co-chair of the Now 2022 event. And just so excited for next year, but also so thankful and so excited for what we just uh, partook of this year. What an event it was. Uh, I'm just even more excited for APSI next year because of what we just experienced. Awesome. Give us a fun fact about each of you that we need to know. Kirsty, you're up. Um, let's see. My fun fact. I'm the first born of uh, four girls. Awesome. And I'm it's... Turn some light on. It looks dark in here. <laughs> and it's, it's Kirsty like thirsty. Yeah. Yes, that has only taken me forever to get. I'm so bad with names. <laughs> uh, but I... I am not bad with beautiful people, and she is beautiful inside and out, and I just so enjoy uh, working with you. Candace, give us a fun fact about you. Okay. My fun fact that I usually use for the game Two Truths and a Lie, and people always miss this, but I'll tell you my truth. Uh, in my early 20s, I took a car ferry with my mother without a car, and she and I, I hitchhiked through Italy. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> That's my fun fact. Now, I've got to be honest. Knowing you, that does not surprise me. <laughs> Candace, you are an adventurous woman who has confidence. And um, she, I can't wait for next year for everybody to meet the two of you in person uh, just because of the aura and the spirit that's all around you. Um, you both have given me strength and, and faith. So I'm so excited. Would you each name me one thing? I, and I told them, I wasn't going to tell them any questions I was asking. They had to, I'm going to hit them with the hardest questions possible. Tell me what you are most excited about next year. Mm. Uh, oh, golly. I, I'm going to jump in here, Kirsty. You go because, first. Because she knows how I feel about this. If the people at this event enjoyed the wonderful Lord's Prayer and then the responses during the Great Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. the choral responses from Mark Miller, he is our music director and leader for the APSI 2022. And you just have to experience Mark Miller in person. So I am so excited about that. Huh. Yeah. Um, for me, uh, I might have chose Mark as well, but I am also so excited. We have a wide array of leadership, um, a great diverse group of leaders in so many ways. And I'm excited for um, all that they're going to bring to the conversation as we widen this circle of faith. So uh, I'm, that makes me really excited. See, see I think what Kirsty just did there was a teaser. She has told you there are some incredible names coming, but I'm not giving you the name yet. <laughs> That's right. Um, Keeping yeah. the history alive. Yeah. And, you know, one of the things about Mark is that when we found ourselves in some deep waters on this conference, he stepped up and said, 
let me help you. And when you know somebody's got a spirit like that, um, it'll be tenfold in person. And I, I truly am excited about that. Thank you both so much. Any other thoughts you want to say? Because I definitely have to get um, our, our next two stars on. Just hope it, to see you in Chicago, whether it be in person or hybrid. Um, just come. Amen. Yay. Where are the magnificent superstar models? I, I feel like they could make professional filming for the Chicago Visitors Bureau. Uh, Jenny and Katie, are you with us? We are. We are. Hello, hello. Hello. I'm going to ask each of you to introduce yourself. I'm Katie Hartwell. I am a pastor now in Southwest Michigan um, and local co-chair for Chicago Event Now 2022. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Where's Jenny? I am here. I can go ahead and introduce yourself or yourself, myself. <laughs> I'm doing good so far already. <laughs> I'm Jenny Hubbard. I'm a pastor at Osable Grove in Yorkville, Illinois. I was a director of children and family ministry for 10 years before that in Knox, Naperville. And so I think I'm the closest to Chicago right now and it is snowing. It's beautiful outside. Um, okay, so now Jenny is a rock star in the Chicagoland area for Faith Formation. And um, to be honest, had she not been asked to chair that, she should have been asked to lead workshops, multiple workshops. And I think she has because she is so talented and gifted. And in the Chicago area, it is true, you're known for that. And Katie, mm -hmm. you never should have been allowed to slide to Michigan. It's not fair. Um, can you each share with, first of all, tell me about that um, video, because it, it really is adorable. What was it like to film? Uh, well, we just decided let's meet up in Chicago, and we started walking around, filming things, and finding every circle possible. Lots of brainstorming about all the circles. I think we we did well in in killing that that theme but <laughs> <laughs> yeah and it was that i mean we did a lot of the ridiculousness but kurt perry was our videographer guy who like made all of that magic happen we're grateful for all of his work and then when we realized that we you know had to had an opportunity to release the video again um kurt went back in and made all of those 2022 add-ins that I just think made it made us even funnier. There's new sound effects that I don't know that were there before. And um, I'm glad we get to relive it because it's still just silly and makes me laugh um, on hard days. <laughs> Amen. So Candace and Kirsty are, they, their role is to kind of take the overarching theme and do some of the big planning, which we, we've heard. The two of you actually are doing what, how I got my start in APSI, um, which was on the local committee. And to be honest, I, I just thought it was one of the greatest opportunities um, to, to do that job. Share with me, do you guys have anything? I don't want you, I know you have great things planned, don't spoil anything, but do you have any one or two things you'd share about that local committee? Uh, what you have in store for us? Yeah, I think one of the things that I am most excited about, especially like now that we can't be together, the feeling of being together, but also um, being back in the city and that sense of like travel and like, I just needed a vacation to plan. I'm <laughs> that I know I can actually plan. <laughs> and that kind of like idea of being in Chicago next February is exciting and like gives us an opportunity and something to look forward to um, in a way that we haven't really been able to like future cast too much this mm -hmm. year. Um, but to be in Chicago, and I'm really grateful that it ended up not being this week because I think there's two feet of snow currently. <laughs> at least 18 inches of snow in Chicago in the last two weeks. Um, so we're going to pray that we have beautiful snow, but not snow that disrupts your travel. Jenny, anything you're really excited about? I think with this journey, I'm excited about 
seeing it from the beginning and how many times we've had to make adjustments, make changes, brainstorm ideas, and then something new comes. And and I, I'm excited to see what God does. And you all have inspired me through these last three days and what new things are going to happen. So I'm not giving away any any things that have been planned, but lots of fun stuff. Awesome. I, I just want to thank all four of you. Um, we want to make sure we have some time for more questions with with Keaton and Amy, but I didn't want to wait to the very end for Chicago because it is a city I love, but it's really being run by four women and an incredible committee I also love just as much more. And so we are grateful for you guys and all the work, and we're excited. We're ready to be there. We'll probably right. be in the costumes. Yeah. <laughs> Keep us warm. Right? Yes. Tom, can warm. I say one more thing? Yes. One more thing I want to go say, and this is for Amy. I wanted to tell you what it meant to me to have the dance party. And before you ever mentioned his name, I had typed in the chat, Glenn, Glenn Bannerman would be so proud of us <laughs> because my first apsy was in 89 in Kansas City. And I learned to dance with Glenn. So there you have it. We're going to do it again. What a wonderful memory. Amen. God bless all four of you. And we know next year will be just as good or better than this year. God bless you. Hey, friends, I do want to make sure you all know um, Chicago's not an inexpensive place, but it's a lot less expensive than you might realize because um, we have gotten an incredible deal on the hotel. And so um, I think it's under $160. And we have a system on our website, thanks to Worship Time, God bless them, where they have helped us set up roommates. So if you're by yourself, you can cut the price in half. We do try to get, offer some meals with the conference. I, I see some of you asking what it all co costs. Can you see this background? Are you able to see us? I don't know what you guys are looking at, but it, this is it. I will tell you, I've been to three APSEs in Chicago, and while Chicago can be rough, I think God is always smiling down in Apsi because those conferences have been beautiful in Chicago. Um, and I want to point this out. Every year, our scholarship team asks for people to apply for the scholarships. They ask for, for people to in, nominate others for awards. And these are ways um, that you can simply go onto our website and apply for opportunities. We gave out more scholarships this year than ever before. It was a lot less expensive, so I don't think we can do that next year. But because of the grants that have been given, we think that there might be some additional support for next year. So make it a priority. Talk to your pastors. Talk to your sessions and your personnel committees. Make sure they know this is important and they need to help you with it because we really do want you there. All right. Thank you all. Really looking forward to, to what, what's in store for all of us next year. Hey, Josh, help us out. We would love to see the gallery view and see who else is out there. And uh, I think we'll take a few more questions. Also, Tom and Ann, this is Amy Kim. We have decided um, that we need you all to take some green screen photos so that we can prop you up like Bernie, but like everywhere <laughs> so that we can just keep posting to Facebook and I'll give it to Betty and we can just have you everywhere. Oh, I would also would be love lovely. it. I mean, because you wanted some advice. I also would love it if you all could take some like prom photos where you're like kind of snuggly and adorable because <laughs> I just think the world needs that now. I think yes. it's pretty amazing. And maybe a Bucky dance party would also be wonderful. So just a few suggestions. I know that you're not tired or completely exhausted. I mean, just <laughs> down some of that caffeine and get it going. So, so I will tell you, don't leave until the very end because you might have a surprise in store. That's number one. Number two, we could definitely get a green screen. And number three, <laughs> we don't even control it. And the other thing I would tell you, um, Ann and I have been having some playful banter, banters. And when we went through the whole meals thing about how much we have in, have in common, right before we went on, her, our last practice through it, 
I said, isn't it amazing? We have so much in common like the sushi. <laughs> and what did you say? And we're both 60-year-old women. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was going to die in oh laughter. Oh my gosh. Anne is the best. She is the best. She is the best. You Thank you for much. that. Thank what you. else? Do we do we have questions for um for our preacher um Keaton or Amy or just thoughts about where you're at? I, we we've only got about 10 minutes left before we're going to stick that a couple silly things on and we are going to go get we're going to go celebrate communion. <laughs> Is Finish the communion. bottle, at least. Um, <laughs> but, Keaton, we do have a question for you that, that's come up um, a little bit more on the, the serious side, but something that might be helpful to all of us. Is, Keaton, there was a question that um, came up um, wanting to know if you have a ritual that you engage in to find inspiration for sermon prep. How do you prepare for sermons? Yeah, that's a that's a really great question. Um, I think as just a habit of being, I always want to be really just a voracious um, consumer of storytelling in any form, whether that's reading or film, um, music, the arts um, feed me. Um, and, and then just kind of in that way, always trying to be a student of life and, and absorbing everything around you. Um, I really like, uh, there's a, in, uh, so um, Mark Iaconelli writes about Desmond Tutu teaching seminarians um, in a couple of courses. And one of the things he charged seminarians and preachers with was, you should be a connoisseur of life. Um, and I think about that a lot, just um, do everything, try everything, uh, be creative and always in, in everything that you're doing, just always be thinking about God's word because it becomes a lot easier for, I don't know, some innocuous uh, thing that happens at the dry cleaners to make its way into your theological imagination or something your child says or a neighbor says or um, something that happens when you, um, you know, burn your toast and eggs one morning. <laughs> this kind of joins uh, in this, uh, this big old bank of images and feelings and thoughts that you're carrying all the time. Um, and then I think every preacher too just has their their personal um, their the folks that really really speak to them that nourish their souls and then um, tries to hear their sermons as much as possible. Thanks, thanks. Absolutely beautiful, very very beautiful. Um, what other questions or thoughts do you all have? Anything you want us to know? So just wave a hand, and we're happy to to call on you. See a hand waving? We can't read the name, but yep, that's you. Just speak up, superwoman. Hey, I am. It's a breast cancer awareness shirt. My name's Audrey. I'm from Westminster, South Carolina, and I direct messaged Amy Kim this, but I wanted to say it to the group. I just so totally enjoyed the authenticity of speaking to communal trauma. Uh, my seminary education was a time in inner city South Boston at Fourth Pres. Uh, in South Boston, and we had a similar communal trauma, and I wasn't there, but I was a part of sort of bridging that, and so just to hear, uh, Amy, just to hear you speak to that and name it for what it was, and to take us from dancing to tears to joy all in like an hour, uh, thank you so much. <laughs> Uh, you I, just, I, I do think we need to be able to experience all of those things at the same time, right? Because that's who we are is we're all these emotional beings that have all of that stuff and, uh, trauma can really mess with us. So whatever we can do to share in the joy and the sorrow, I'm all for it. May I say something to Amy? Yes. Please. Hi, Amy. I thought that uh, you modeled such a beautiful way of helping people uh, with the whole issue of racist or, or biases that they maybe don't even know they have. And the way that you did it was you told your story. Mm. And that's a story that you have earned the right to tell. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Tom and Ann. Yeah, yes. Yes. Meredith, your roommate. That is Meredith. 
Meredith Loftus. Loftus. She is the next chair of the AE team, and she has been behind the scenes <laughs> doing anything she can to make us look good, uh, which is really hard. <laughs> it may have been my idea to get the Bucky out. And <laughs> behind your shoulder is my dear friend, David. And, uh, and he is um, the man I spoke so highly about. And I was so, I'm so glad you did this. That's Laura, right? She's Laura. a little further back. She was the one taking the video camera so we couldn't see her face. And, um, and I felt so bad about that. So I'm so glad you are on camera. But Laura was on a hoverboard, you all, a hoverboard going down the hallway to take the video of all the um, the monitors and all the operators of GNTV to make everything possible. So she was on a hoverboard to take that video. So applause to Laura. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> you want to know about the green shirts because lots of people are asking and somebody wanted to know seriously if you were willing to bid off your shirts in order to raise money for scholarships. So, of course, like all the shirts. So each of us. So, uh, like I said, the first. If you, in case you missed it, one of the um, most serious things for me when I when I pack for APSI is um, what I'm going to wear. Right. I um, use my Excel spreadsheets to create my wardrobe for when I travel to an annual event. Make sure I don't wear anything the same thing for two years in a row because everybody would remember. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so I ordered green three sets of shirts for Tom and I to wear, right? One on Thursday, one on Friday, one on Saturday. And so um, offered the t-shirts, tried to get some more for the annual event ministry team, and they, uh, we just can't get them. But Tom, I don't know about you, but I would be happy if, if that would be something um, we've got. So there are six shirts between the two of us and um, would be happy to um, make those available somehow. So We'll set up a virtual bidding site on the APSI website and you can bid to your heart's content and raise thousands of dollars. Right. Well, I don't so, know about that. And just know that mine are medium and his are not. Medium. <laughs> medium of a man my size, that kind of medium. I believe we call that large-ish. <laughs> so if you like large-ish, which is sometimes lovely, extra lovely, that's what it would be. <laughs> now, I will also tell you the truth. Here's the difference between Ann and I. I will sell mine off to anybody, to, to whoever that will bid for them. We'll put that money in the scholarships okay. to help somebody get to Chicago. And this is the truth of that story. Anne does keep a spreadsheet of every single thing she's worn for five years. <laughs> That's 100% true. And here's what she said to me when she knew we were doing this. Tom, I've been keeping a spreadsheet of what you wear as well. And I think it's better if I just buy you your clothes. <laughs> <laughs> and so that's why she bought the shirt. Swear, swear to you, that is exactly what I think happened. All right. Um, we would be glad to share that with you. Um, they are super nice, um, and it would be a fun way to get a little money. And then, but if you buy it, you got to send us a picture of you. Uh, and you know what we can do? We will autograph a picture of us in our Bucky costumes and put that in it with it. That's got to raise it up at least. You're making a lot more work for us. You need to cut that out. <laughs> you all do realize when we said Meredith does all the work, that's what we mean. Yeah, Tom, you should wash your own shirts, though, before giving them to Meredith. You know what? There are two ways of viewing this. I can wash it, and then you get something that might fade or not be as nice. Nobody or wants your funk. Nobody. I can leave it. No, I'm going to leave it the way it is, and when you put it on, it will be like a hug from me. <laughs> You will smell me and everything. It will be great. Stop. No, stop. We're in the people, we're in the COVID. Want to know if you're willing. Sorry. Uh, we are glad to do that. Hey, let's throw it back to the crowd. Is there anything else um, anybody wants to share? We have three or four more minutes before we're to put on a, a little bit of craziness. How Any, long? How long have you been in that studio? Well, we, all, we all agreed to quarantine prior to coming, and then we all agreed to drive here, which was a little challenging because 
Well, Texas is like, I think, five minutes away. <laughs> yeah. So I left on Sunday, stopped <clears throat> um, somewhere, Mobile on Monday, and we, got, and we got there Monday afternoon. And Tom, you left on Sunday. Yeah, I changed my plans because of weather. So I, I left Sunday um, and, and got to Indiana by myself. And then Monday drove to pick up Meredith in Knoxville. And then we made the rest of the drive down here. It's only about a thousand hours. So where exactly are you? So what? we are staying in Kathleen, Georgia in a Airbnb. So it's been fun for the three of us to really be a, a family bubble together. So we've had some, some quality time, some downtime um, between um, 1030 at night and one o'clock in the morning and then we get up and have our our shakes or whatever and then <clears throat> we're in the studio <clears throat> sometime between nine and ten in the morning um yeah and we uh will leave i think tomorrow so how many uh, days have you been there so it'll be it'll be seven days right yeah. wow yeah. thank so, you that's wonderful <laughs> you want to know if you're willing to yeah. auction off your bucky onesies Oh, we would sure. We would do that too. We would auction this off, but I, I assume you want them signed. <laughs> and I will tell you a secret: there's not a lot of space for extra clothing. So now, I'm guessing what I want. I gotta be honest, don't I? You do. <clears throat> but we also, I will stand up if you want a full view of these, so that you can see what the it's 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 a onesie, right? But when you turn around, it even has a tail. I will. Even if they fade, washing is, is necessary. <laughs> they, they are incredibly comfortable. They are. They I are. Mean, if I would have had a choice between the green shirts and this the whole time. We would have, we would have done these. Think about how light wow. my, pack, my, my luggage will be next year if I just come with this. It seems reasonable. Yeah. Um, well, it, uh, you know, friends, this is the end of the road. Um, we will probably never gather again like this with this community exactly in this way. In a Bucky's outfit. Certainly <laughs> not in a Bucky's outfit. Um, but God does have a wonderful way of putting us where we need to be at any given moment, reminding us of our callings. Sometimes funny, sometimes serious, but inviting us to step over the threshold. So before we end, I'm going to ask my friend Anne if she'd close us with a quick prayer. And I'll do the benediction. And uh, thank you for being with us. It's, it's been great. Let's pray. God of grace and God of glory. What a gift you have given us a gift of time, a gift of community, the gift of new ideas, the gift of challenging us, gift of inspiring us to open doors, to use what we have been given, to value our diversity, and to go forth with signs of hope signs that we know that you are always with us. Go with us from this place, equipping us for a new day, a new season, a new time to go forward, knowing that you are always with us. We know that we cannot wait till we are together again, and we know that you will always be with us. Keep us safe. Grant us peace. For it is in Christ's name that we pray. Amen. Amen. Uh, friends, if you would help me by holding your hands out and just opening them up like this. If you could just imagine for a moment whatever you have hung on to so tightly, whatever angst or frustration you might have felt, if you could just open up your heart and soul like your hand and offer it back up to the Holy Spirit. 
feel her presence in your life. Let the breeze of angels' wings touch your soul. May you know that you have been called to this world with purpose and meaning. May you know that you have opened many doors for others and there are doors still to open. May you have the courage and the strength to go into God's creation and be your unique incredible self. You are the only person that God has created to do your work. May you have the courage to do it now and always. And all God's children say, amen. Amen. God bless you all. We love you. Okay, Josh, try to make us look bad. We love you, Apsy. <laughs>